Welcome to my group. <sighs> what up, crew? I'm Jared. That's my 2017 Open Up. Truthfully, I love this bike just the way it is. But I wrecked it a few months ago, and it's living um, on some borrowed parts. So I decided to upgrade and order DI2 for it, and it's all here. And since I'm doing that, I decided I might as well do my like dream bike build. So we're gonna strip it down, we're gonna paint it, and we're gonna throw in some new session components, wheels, um, some other goodies, and it's gonna be very mine. I don't know. It'll it's gonna be crazy looking. But opens are kind of meant to be crazy looking, so let's have some fun with it. Yeah, so we're meeting at Meteor today. Have a little coffee with Joao uh, from Session Components. We are on our way there right now. Bike is at paint with Alicia. She has started sanding um, already. Things are happening. I'm super pumped. It's gonna look so good. What up guys, I finished, finally. So there's a lot of backstory to this. A lot has happened in the last year. And when I started the video, that was like, I don't know, like nine months ago or something. It was forever ago, maybe longer than that. And at first it was just ordering stuff was difficult, getting GRX and, um, Ended up just making a bunch of changes, but uh, then my family went through, through some things, and I just didn't ride. Didn't ride, didn't touch the bike. Um, life took over, but here we are. I finished it, so let's talk about it. So I am coming from, originally on this bike, I had like an old Tegra kind of roadie setup happening. Um, then I switched to like kind of a mullet build. It didn't quite work for me. Um, and then I just switched to borrowed parts, um, a pretty standard setup, but it had like a 42 in the back, uh, which was cool for climbing, but just a mechanical and I don't know. I was kind of always just not quite right. Wasn't quite working properly. So I said, forget it. I've got a really good frame. Um, like it's good bones. Let's strip it all down and just go like stock, 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 stock. So I know it works. GRX. Um, DI2 and so that's what I ended up going with um, I wasn't gonna switch some things out. I ended up switching everything out Mostly because I just wanted to know it was gonna work um, the way Shimano designed it to so I went uh, the GRX 810 DI2 fully stock um, Throughout I had some really good wheels on this bike before so like not complaining at all um, but session hooked me up with these C23G gravel wheels, um, carbon, and I am just like kind of blown away at the speed and actually the compliance they've given me. Um, the bike feels a million times better just switching those wheels out. Um, I don't know, it's just like, it's smoother now. And I'm kind of a proponent for smoother is faster. Um, and so it's been really good for me. I actually, in that, in that move, I had the Gravel King SK Pluses on before, 
I switched to the Cinturados um, by Pirelli. And this bike only will take up to like a 43 or 42, I think. And so um, I really, 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 really wish Pirelli would make this tire in a 42. They don't. And so I went ahead and got the 40s. Um, the way they ride and feel is totally fine. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, I shouldn't say it's fine. It's really, really good, actually. This big sugar gravel, the 100 mile um, gravel race here in Northwest Arkansas on them and had zero problems. They rode great. I love them. Um, it's just something about looking down at a tire that skinny. I know you road bikers, like, you don't even know, but uh, it's just not very um, confidence inspiring or boosting. And so um, I wish they were just a little bit bigger. But, like, nothing really bad to say. I think they look great. Um, the side profile's sweet. Um, the tread pattern I'm into. They roll really, really well. No problems there. They've been fast for me, so I'm into them. Um, another thing I did <coughs> is I switched out to the Session Aero Bar, which Aero on gravel sounds kind of funny, but uh, having the big spot to put your hand on um, every once in a while is pretty darn great. Um, also, the carbon bars are super compliant. They are so much better than what I had on this bike before. Um, and so, as you can tell, I'm kind of after compliance. I like that. We're, we have like really, really, really rough gravel here in Northwest Arkansas. And so, I was really pushing for that. Another big thing I did for that, and this is kind of the last move for this bike before I made this video, is I switched to the Redshift stem. Um, the stem gives you... I don't know, like 30, 30 millimeter. I don't, I don't remember what it is, but um, it takes away a lot of the chatter. And I kind of thought it was gimmicky when I ordered it. Um, I've seen it for a long time. Um, my friends over at uh, Rodeo Labs spoke about it and they really liked it. And so I was like, ah, I'll, I'll give her a shot. And if not, I'll just send it back. And um, man, it, it takes away just a ton of that those like light vibrations that kind of wear on you over like a four to six hour day. Um, and then like some of those big hits that like you accidentally run up on, uh, big potholes or something like that, don't quite shake you to your core like they normally would. So um, I am gladly taking the weight penalty. It is heavy. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's heavy. Um, I'm gladly taking that weight penalty because it, it just feels so much better. So very into the Redshift stem. Um, would say yes to that. Um, but last but not least, the paint job. Uh, I'm really, really, really happy with how this turned out, especially considering this is just a rattle can job. Uh, my friend Alicia did this, and uh, I don't think she would call herself pro by any means, uh, but she's a freaking good hobbyist. Um, and so the I knew it wasn't going to be like high gloss, like you know, straight out of the factory. You're not, I mean, you're not buying a, you know, like a open from the factory or a Pinarello or something like that. Like it's, it's, uh, it's not perfect. It's got its flaws. Um, but that's kind of why I went with this paint splatter scheme. When I show up to a group ride, it's fun. People, um, they're not noticing all the tiny things. They're only noticing that this is a party of a bike. Um, and so that's kind of what I was after with that. Uh, it's, we've got a pink fork uh, and then like a, a green frame and then all the accents are gold and then the it's a it's the alternate color so you've got green splatter on the fork and pink splatter on the frame um, Alicia absolutely killed it I love it um, it looks good clean I think it looks better dirty even um, yeah really 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 into it Okay, so that's my 2017 Open Up Dream Build. Um, I love the bike, it rides so good. Um, the GRX Di2 was a huge upgrade for me. It shifts great all the time, every time, really into it. Anybody that can go electric should go electric. Um, the, and that, the paint, I love it. It's a, it's a head turner most of the time, and so um, I like attention, so I like that. And then uh, Session really hooked me up with, you know, bars and wheels. And those things have been a total game changer as far as the compliance of this bike. 
um, which I think is a really added speed. So I feel faster than I was before and um, without really spending much money. That's like, this wasn't a crazy, crazy expensive build. You can, you know, you guys know you can spend some money out there. But um, this, I feel like, was okay. So um, don't feel bad about it. Love it. And on to the next one, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. You don't have to subscribe. I don't really make many videos. Um, but you can. 